Welcome to our first deep dive ecosystem video. This is all about first person shooter games, whether they're fully live or in their alpha stages. Today, we're bringing you five that you need to know about. What's up gamers? My name's Mike, I'm your host here at Fungible Games. In today's video, we're doing a deep dive on some different type of shooters. We're gonna do sci-fi, kind of like that Doom era, some Call of Duty zombies, and some new and interesting shooter types out in the cryptoverse that you haven't seen before. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's dive into the video. And diving straight into this list here, we have Crypto Shots, which is kind of that retro OG style game, very similar to Doom in a sci-fi first person shooter style game. Now, to age myself, I remember when I was a kid, I didn't know much about computers, but I saw my friends playing Doom, and I played this game a little bit before this video, and it definitely has that same retro style feel. So you got your 2D graphics up around, and you're exploring the world having to take out enemies. This one has a super simple barrier to entry, and that's what we want for a lot of these starting crypto games. So it's a first person shooter, keyboard, mouse. Let's dive into more details about the game. Players strive to complete levels to earn rewards and an NFT that gives access to the next level. Such level NFTs can be sold to other players and an interesting decision for this developer, if you wanna skip ahead and you don't wanna play level by level chronologically, let's say you get ahead higher and you wanna be able to sell it, well now you can actually sell these NFTs in Marketplace so people that wanna skip ahead and play further long levels, it's now possible. Players can collect various weapon parts that can be combined to create new, unique weapons. The game's levels exist on different planets and you can reach them by starships. These spaceships are player owned NFTs that create a revenue stream for their owners. Players can spend this boom token to get there right away or if you want to do it traditionally with no money spent it takes about two hours to get to the next level. Let's give Crypto Shots a test so you can see. I went there on a different browser but it tells me for 10 times faster gameplay go to Firefox so now I'm on Firefox. We can see that team survival or time survival will come soon. But for now, let's play kill them all. And for this demonstration, we're gonna click easy. Okay, so now we are in the game mode itself. We can move around traditionally. I'm just using WSCA style, and then you move around with your cursor. As it says for the demo, you're immortal for your first three plays. And then you go around, you wanna open cases. We got some health here. And then if you notice in the top right corner, oh, sorry, let me just get, get this guy. <laughs> so if you notice in the top right corner, uh, <laughs> sorry, killing too many robots at once. Uh, oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but oh, he was behind the health logo. There we go, got rid of him too. So if you can see in the top right corner, we've got our oxygen, so that gives us another four minutes to beat this level. You can see weapons lying around, so this one looks pretty good, I'll pick up that. Uh, let's see if there's some health or something. So O to open this, and we got some health. Okay, that looks good. I am going to explore, uh, see if I can explore the next area, some health, good, topped up. Oh, and there's also pretty good jumping mechanics on this one as well. Um, you can jump on objects since that wasn't high enough, so I could jump here and <laughs> Anyways, uh, for the rest of the sake of the tour, I'm not gonna go up there, but um, Oh, there we go. I just discovered something new. C is crouch. Go figure uh, Let's just go explore this world. Oh That was pretty good. And I got some XP stat boost there. Let's see what's upstairs. But yeah, uh, what I'm noticing playing this game, it feels very very similar to my Doom game as a child, so it's uh, it's fun to see that again. So essentially, the object of these type of games is going around, getting rid of all of the enemies, and doing that before uh, your time runs out. Even though it's just the the first starter pitch, there's lots of areas to explore, many staircases, the jump, crouch, everything works pretty good. The mechanics seem really smooth to me. Um, right now I need to fix my screen brightness because I can't really see much, but got enough right now to explore. Oh, super, super enemy. Ugh. Oh, okay, sweet. This is like a one-shot shotgun. Oh, there's a, a bad guy. One-shot KO. And there we go. I found all the 
Uh, I have good game, I won, 12 kills, time left, a minute left of oxygen. So that just means I had a minute left to explore this level. So it looks like there was still another couple guns for me to find, so I'll find some weapons, but for sure this one-shot KO, I don't know if this is like a bolt action rifle or something like that, I have to dive more into it, but it was my favorite. And then now we could go to level two, and like we were talking about earlier now in the game version, I would get the NFT of this game. Right now I'm just doing the free-to-play version, so I haven't signed up with a MetaMask or anything like that, which is also nice to get people people involved right away. Well that was fun to get the nostalgia back and play that Doom style game and coming up now on August 27th they're coming out with a new drop and release so make sure you stay tuned for that. And in the interim CryptoShots is currently hosting PvP tournaments so you can get involved in that as well. In these tournaments participants stand a chance to earn wax and tokens from other projects too. As we just saw from beating the level, level two is available now. And like I was saying earlier, level three will be available on August 27th. And when you're done playing this one, make sure you go to fungible.com and leave your review. I'll make sure to go check out your review. So if in those comments of the game review of Crypto Shots, if you wanna make fun of me for my gameplay, please let me know and I'll go check that out. And next up is a game we really enjoy playing here at Fungible and that is Metastrike. Metastrike is a role-playing shooter game with a large variety of NFT weapons. Players need to complete missions and earn NFT and tokens built on the BNB chain. This free to play and play to earn shooter game allows players to collect guns, build a map to fight and steal from other players. It has six game modes. We have Team Deathmatch, Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, Conquest, CFT, Rush, and the game is currently in beta stage one. And what better time than now to check out Metastrike because they're currently hosting a tournament with $50,000 up for grabs. That's absolutely huge for a crypto game like this. So go to the Metastrike website and you can check out everything you need to know here about the tournament, the prize pool, and the format with match rules and all. And then step two, if you wanna get involved and get that battle pass, you go to marketplace.metastrike.io. Here you'll find box options, which can give you guns, but like anything, they range from $44 to $12,000, and then they have knife options for $300. So prices are all all over the place for this game depending on how stacked you want to be but then you just go over to the MetaStrike tournament tab to check out how you get involved and just connect your wallet. And then step three, sign up on the Google form on their website to get yourself involved. The popular PC shooter from 2019, Black Squad now hits crypto in Black Squad Royal Road. Built in Unreal Engine 3, Black Squad Royal Road is the NFT version of what we experience from the classic Black Squad game. A first person shooter game where you compete with other players to be on top of the ranks. The game is live and available on Windows PC and in multiple languages, including English, Chinese, Russian, Korean, and Spanish. In battle mode, players can choose a class to use. Classes are divided into Assault, Support, Command, and Recon, and each class has five unique skills. Skills range from general ones, such as accumulation of bullets, health recovery, and reconnaissance, to powerful ones, such as bomber strikes, helicopter support, and the howitzer bombardment. And for those with the skills, this one is play and earn friendly. Fierce competition between talented players unfolds, and a battle in which better gamers can earn a lot of coins begins. We aim to play based on the fundamentals of first-person shooters. And even gamers who cannot participate, they can even earn coins by guessing who the winner will be. And for this, they use the BLZ digital asset, which is linked to the Wemex blockchain. And for the latest update, Season 12 is here and the Super Match kicks off. Enjoy exciting in-game rewards and the chance to win the Time Extension Kit Random Box. And if you're an old-school Call of Duty zombie lover, you're gonna wanna check out this game. Now we have a crypto game in Undead Blocks where you travel around a map fighting off a horde of zombies. This one is difficulty based and comes in waves. It starts off level one, you get a pistol and you mow down the series of zombies. Once you finish killing all the zombies in that level, then level two comes with more difficulty, which in this game mode just essentially means you have more zombies and they have a little bit more health. Now this game has two ways to play it. So you can do the traditional no money option where it takes a really long time 
through XP of mowing down zombies to build up experience to buy the new weapons. Start off with a pistol. Next weapon is a two shot shotgun. Or if you want to bypass that option, you can purchase NFT guns. Now, because this game is still in early phases, it doesn't match up quite with the prowess of Call of Duty zombies. But if you're a fan of that zombies franchise, and if you want to see what it feels like inside the world of that zombie PC shooter style game, go check out Undead Blocks. And next up, we have a refresh new take on shooter games and it is built on Solana blockchain and that is EV.io. And this type of first person shooter, while it does have, you know, the point and shoot elements that you would expect from a personal shooter, they tried to make it a little bit different. So kind of Halo style, even elements of things like Fortnite, where you've got those impulse grenades, throw them at the ground and you can fly around the map. Um, you can teleport and things like that. So the game founders themselves said they wanted to create a game where you felt it had like a lot more movement based around instead of just point and shoot. Enthusiast gaming takes a lot of inspiration from other Bungie style shooters like Halo or Destiny. The beta launched in January 2021 and already has over 400,000 registered users. So for EV.io, we already have our editorial review here from Dennis. He's given it a two out of five, mostly as you can see from the story, he does like the economy though. But now one thing, the main reason why I wanted to come here on Fungible Doc Games is to show you our rock through. So here's a really good example of if you're trying to check out a new game and you're not quite sure how to play or you wanna learn more about it, come over to our website and then for instance here, we'll give you the walkthrough. So we got our introduction, the first steps that you need to know. So this is anything from installing to system requirements to the basics you need to play the game. Then we'll show you controls, settings, the main menu, everything that you need to know so your first step into the game is more immersive and isn't so confusing. We'll also let you know about the different game modes, the economy, and then of course, final verdict. And then of course, once you play the game itself, we'd absolutely love if you could come over here and leave a user review. As you can see, we don't have any right now. So if you could be the first, that would be fantastic. Now back to the game. So within this game, there's a few different modes to try out. Of course, you've got your deathmatch, then you've got your sniper shotgun, team deathmatch, and survival. You have to kill as many players in the team deathmatch mode as you can to win, hone your skills, practice the right movements, master your aim, and you can be the king of deathmatch. In survival, just like Call of Duty, your goal is to be the last person alive. So here, you're gonna wanna learn the maps very well and and come up with a strategy to make sure you're the last one alive. So when it comes to earning in EV.io, it circles around mostly their NFTs. Like most games, if you wanna start earning some cash, you have to go in and purchase an NFT. In this case, you just go into their shop and purchase it with Solana token. Then once you have your NFT, you simply go into your wallet and select it in game to equip it while you're playing. So the game token is called E and you wanna begin accumulating that. And then once you have 10,000 of them, you can start trading them in for some Solana tokens. And to earn money even faster with this game, make sure you pay attention to when they're having their tournaments. In fact, on the Fractal website, they just hosted a tournament with a juicy $5,000 prize pool. So now some pros and cons of this game. First off, it can be played from the browser, so it makes it accessible to so many more people, you don't need to worry about downloading it. And it's also got some big names in it with Luminosity. So that gives it a little bit of street cred when we're talking about cyber sports. And then in terms of the playability, this is set to be more of like a casual, relaxing gameplay, nothing too intense. And for the cons, from what you can see in these gameplay footages that we've been showing, the graphics are not the best <laughs> as we can see. And also the sound design in this game is fairly basic. And in terms of maps, they definitely could be larger and we want some more in-game interaction in the map. So that's something that we need to see in the future as well. So as you can see, the game is still really raw. It's something that maybe we'd suggest trying out for a couple hours, seeing what you think, maybe going into the forum and giving them some feedback on what you'd like to see in future iterations. And that brings us to the conclusion of this video. Essentially, what you can see from a lot of these games on the list today, there is still some things left to be desired, but at the end end of the day, we're in the innovative space in crypto gaming. This is everything very new. This is like Super Mario Brothers back in 1997. Like this is where it's so good to have community feedback. So it would be great to be a little bit patient with these titles. That being said, we do want the exciting new crypto games coming. So if there's any games that you're excited about learning more about, please let us know in the comments below. We will have our team dive in, we'll play it around with you, and we will give you a full comprehensive review. Thank you so much for watching on this one. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video.